An outburst of joy after the landmark ruling in The Hague. More than 17,000 Dutch citizens and seven environmental groups had filed a case arguing that Shell endangers people's lives and future generations with its carbon emissions. It's enormous, it's phenomenal, it's historical. <laughs> so, so enormously bad. For the first time, we really have a major chance to reduce climate change and ensure a safe and happy future for my three kids and all kids in the world. For the first time, a court ruled that not only governments but also companies have a responsibility to reduce climate change. The court orders Royal Dutch Shell through its company policy to reduce its CO2 emissions and also those from providers and consumers by the end of 2030 to net 45% compared to 2019. A huge blow to Shell that had pledged to reduce its emissions by 20% in a decade, but now is ordered to ramp things up. The company says it's disappointed by the verdict and will appeal. This verdict not only gives a boost to the more than 17,000 Dutch citizens and seven environmental groups have won this case, this could have an impact worldwide. Now a judge has ruled that a company like Shell has an obligation to cut emissions, the same could apply to companies around the globe. Absolutely, this, this will definitely have a ripple effect across uh, other jurisdictions. And it's definitely something that other uh, companies should take into uh, account. Uh, not only their boards, but their shareholders as well, their investors, uh, their accountants, uh, etc. So I really think that this will have a, a huge impact on the uh, energy transition. An estimated 1,800 lawsuits related to climate change are currently being fought in courtrooms around the world. Climate law experts believe that this ruling will enforce corporate responsibility irrespective of the political reality. Interestingly, one of the things that the judge said today is that Shell cannot follow what's happening in society. Shell has its own obligation to do its share against climate change. So even if now in society people care, would care less about climate change, which I wouldn't expect, but even then Shell still has to commit. If and how Shell will commit remains to be seen. These climate activists will continue to watch the company closely. Cutting nearly half its emissions in a decade from now can, according to experts, only be done if the company majorly alters its operations. Stepfast and Al Jazeera, The Hague.